Time to check in with Coindesk Global Policy and Regulation Managing Editor Nick Day, who is also the editor of Coindesk's The State of Crypto Newsletter. Good Monday morning to you, Nick. So Virgil Griffith, the uh, developer of Ethereum who was accused of uh, giving a talk in North Korea, his trial begins today. What can you tell us about that? Good morning. Yes, Virgil Griffith was arrested at the end of 2019 on allegations he helped the North Koreans uh, learn about crypto. Uh, it's a pretty controversial charge. A lot of the arguments against this claim have been that you know it's public information that he was presenting off a of PowerPoint, and you know how much can you really teach if it's already out there? Um, the trial does begin today. We're going to see whether or not the uh, prosecution's uh, arguments have enough weight. Uh, there's been quite a bit of back and forth in terms of, you know, what evidence is allowed and, you know, what kind of testimony is allowed. Um, but, you know, the real trial is is one that starts today. Our reporter, Cheyenne Ligon, will be there. So, you know, we should have an update in a couple hours after court lets out. But at least for the moment, it's definitely going to be, um, you know, it's, it's one we need to be keeping an eye on. And Nick, the vote on the infrastructure bill is finally here. It might be today, correct? Um, what are you What are you expecting to see come out of it? Yes, that's today. Um, honestly, at this point, I have no idea. So <laughs> here's what's happening. There, there's definitely going to be a vote. I think um, there's been a lot of controversy. So right now, you have the Republican caucus kind of whipping against the bill. So uh, it's you know down to basically the Democrats to decide whether or not. You know, they collectively want this passed, but there's still controversy over the uh, bipartisan framework because the reconciliation bill, which is the all democratic, you know, much larger package, uh, also has to be passed for uh, for progressives to sign off on the bipartisan bill. And so we're really just waiting to see whether or not you know, either Democrats decide to just pass the bipartisan bill without the reconciliation bill. Or will the reconciliation bill be passed today or voted on today or in the coming days in such a way that the entire Democratic caucus is OK with passing the bipartisan bill? So it's all up in the air right now. Uh, we'll be keeping a very close eye on this one and should have more hopefully soon.